cowering in terror as gunshots ring out in quick succession. This shopping mall is under siege. Police response teams arrive quickly to lock down the site. The gunman, identified by local media, is 21-year-old Patrick Crucius. This CCTV image captures the moment he walks into the mall, armed with an automatic rifle, prepared to cause mass casualties. He starts pop, 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 pop. He's going for that semi. He's trigger finger. He's going, going, going. It's Saturday morning and the mall is packed with families, mothers with young children, buying their back to school supplies as the summer holidays come to an end. But as the gunshots echo through the mall, panic spreads as people begin to realize exactly what is happening. Keep going, run out that way. Heavily armed police lead some of the people to safety. The shots were going do, 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 do. And then he was like, is that good shots? I said, yes. People were running inside saying there was a shooter. We took off towards the back of the store where the stock room was. We were pushing people out the way and telling them to go. Looked to see what's going on. And more people are coming in, and then I hear boom, 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 boom. We all run out of the McDonald's. I talked to another guy that said he saw somebody shot in the head, and another lady shot in the head, and her, and her head was like blown away. As police SWAT teams descend on the mall, the terror and confusion separates families and loved ones. She would have called, she has seven kids, 20 something grandchildren, and I don't know how many great grandchildren. <laughs> and I am. I'm with my niece somewhere, Mandy, is with me, and I got tired of waiting and waiting and waiting, and I just want to know where my mom is. So my name's Lita Jamowski, and we're looking for my brother-in-law, Andre Antrombo. Uh, we've been waiting at the hospitals, both hospitals where they've been dropping them off at, uh, you know, the unification center, so we got word. We're just trying to put the word out there if anybody's heard from them. Or... <laughs> The gunman has been arrested by the police. FBI investigators are now examining a 2,300 word document allegedly shared online by Crucius. It's full of hatred for immigrants and big business. He attacks politicians, both Democrats and Republicans, and says he held these views before President Trump came to power. Right now we have a manifesto from this individual that indicates to some degree it has a nexus to potential hate crime. Uh, I didn't mean to step on the FBI's toes on that, but we are taking this down the road of simply a murder investigation with numerous casualties. And uh, as I said, the state of Texas will be the lead prosecuting agency in this. As Texas reeled from this carnage hours away further north, more blood was spilt on American streets. Dude, what the f This time, what drinkers in a bar in Dayton, Ohio. No warning, just a burst of gunfire and nine people shot dead. More would have died, but for a passing patrol car responding quickly, identifying the gunman and shooting him dead. If Dayton police had not gotten to the shooter in under a minute, and think of that, 30, 26 injured, uh, 9 dead, um, hun hundreds of people in the Oregon district could be dead today. The gunman has not been identified, and FBI investigators are yet to establish a motive. Even in a country hardened to gun crime, this has been the bloodiest of weeks. Three mass shootings with the last two just hours apart. Unlikely, though, to make Americans finally put down their guns. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.
Once again in America, we are waking up to horrifying news involving mass shootings, this time two in 24 hours. Overnight, at least nine people killed in Dayton, Ohio, where a gunman opened fire in a part of town filled with bars and restaurants. Just hours before that, at least 20 killed in El Paso, Texas, when a young man allegedly went on a rampage at a Walmart. The shooter first opened fire outside the store, then he went inside where he stalked people in the aisles. This morning, the suspect is in custody. According to the El Paso police chief, authorities are examining what the chief has called a manifesto believed to have been written by the shooter. The chief says the document shows a possible, quote, nexus to a hate crime. Law enforcement sources also tell ABC News that the suspect said he wanted to shoot as many Mexicans as possible. The shock and sadness immediately evident across the state of Texas. The headline in the Dallas Morning News, so many bodies. And overnight, the Texas Rangers baseball team holding a moment of silence for the victims. We have team coverage of both these mass shootings this morning. We'll go live to El Paso in a moment where we will hear from some of the survivors. But we start here with the latest on the overnight shooting in Dayton. ABC's Maggie Ruley is here with more. Good Eva, good morning. The FBI is on the scene right now in Dayton. They're working with local police. And this is all happening as we're starting to hear more from witnesses who were on the scene. And they describe those early morning hours as chaos. This morning, at least nine dead, dozens injured after a shooting in Dayton, Ohio. We got shots fired, we got multiple people down, we're gonna need multiple medics. One man capturing the sound of gunfire as he sat in his car. We have, looks like nine or ten shots. Police say the shooter, wearing body armor and armed with a long gun and high capacity magazines, opened fire just after 1 a.m. as people were out at restaurants and bars in a popular area of downtown. This is a very safe part of downtown. Officers already patrolling nearby quickly responded, blocking off roads. We need first medic and dead peppers right now. We got several down. Paramedics rushing to give first aid to some victims out on the street. Most of us can't get to our cars because there were bodies scattered all over uh, across the street from our cars. So we can't, people that were shot hit innocent people. Police killing the gunman. We're working on identifying the suspect, see what the possible motivation might have been. The community is left in shock as authorities search for answers. We can't get home to our families now, and now those people aren't going home to their families either. The convention center in town has been set up as a staging area to help those families meet up with their loved ones. And we keep hearing this morning that the area where this happened, it's known for being safe. It's known as a popular tourist destination. And right now, the community is just in disbelief. Of course. Mm. Unbelievable. Maggie, thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.